Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So if you have been watching my dressed in quilt video series, then you knew this video was coming. Um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about right now, you can click the link on either side here. I'm not sure what side it'll pop up on. Um, and it'll take you to my Dresden quilt series if you are interested in making a Dresden quilt. But you don't really need to have watched that to know what we're going to be talking about here in this video. And that is making your own spray starch. So I made two different spray starches that I actually like and I think work really well. Um, one is a light starch and one is a heavy. And I've been using them for probably at least a month now to really get a good feel of it. And I really, really like them. Um, so I'm gonna share with you how they're made and in the description, I'll put a link to the recipes I used. But I'm gonna, I'm, I'm going to include a video with the steps that I used because um, I think one or two of them do have um, different ways that you could make them and I'm gonna share the way that I made them because that's the one I know has been working well for me. So with that said, let's get started. Okay, so we made the spray starches and first what you might have noticed is my heavy starch is in a different bottle now. Um, the only reason I had to switch out the bottles was I found out afterward that the spray nozzle didn't work on it. So there was nothing wrong with the starch. Um, it's just that my spray bottle didn't work. So I had to um, uh, clean out one of my cleaning spray <laughs> bottles that I wasn't really using much anymore um, and redo it. So that's the only reason you'll notice that this one is in a different bottle. Now, um, before I use the starches, I do want to talk about something um, because I'm calling this a light and this one a heavy. And um, that's only because that's what they're listed as in the um, recipe that I used. Now, let me show you as a comparison. Um, I received this flatter spray in one of my quilt boxes and it is absolutely lovely. It smells really good. Um, I would compare this light starch to this. I get a very similar um, texture to my fabric. I don't know if texture is the right word, but firmness, I guess, to my fabric um, between these two. So the light starch is definitely more than just misting the fabric with water, which I do keep water up here as well too. Um, that just helps me get all the creases out using the water. The light starch, like I said, is similar to the flatter spray in that I do get a little more stiffness to my fabric, um, but not quite to where I can easily crease my fabric um, if that makes sense. So that's um, kind of where it is with the light starch. Now the heavy starch, I would say it's probably more similar to the medium starch I was using before I ran out and had to make my own. I wish I had the bottle 
um, to kind of show you, but I wouldn't say it's super heavy. Um, it's to me more of a medium. I can get a nice crease to my fabric, but I don't have, it's not so stiff um, that it doesn't lay in, you know, still move nicely like a cotton does. So hopefully that makes sense and that helps you. Um, I was really unsure if I would like these as much as something store-bought, if it might smell funny, um, if it might turn, you know, foul smelling as sometimes making your own uh, stuff can do because it starts, um, you know, without the preservatives and different things. And I don't know if preservatives is the right word, but the stuff that, you know, that you add to things to keep it from spoiling, um, is missing would you know things go wrong like I said I've been using these for a while and I haven't had any issue with that I do think it's because um, this one has the alcohol in it and this one um, is boiled down so and I think I did use um, I did make it a while ago because I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to actually use it for a while and make sure I liked it before sharing it with you um, but I think I did use um, distilled water in it to help make sure that there wasn't anything that would turn, um, you know, rotten in, in it. Um, but one one thing I really did notice with using these um, with my fabric is that when I iron it, um, sometimes with the stuff that I, I bought from the store, um, I could see residue on my iron that would start putting, um, you, like burning in, and staining my fabric, which was really, really frustrating. And I haven't had that issue since using these. And I, I can't tell you why um, I'm not into um, chemical ingredients. And I don't, I don't know why, I just know that it hasn't happened to me recently. So um, let's take a look. I'm gonna see if I can try to show you uh, the difference. You see, I flipped my fabric over because I had those staining issues. It's just a habit of mine when I iron a lot and when I, um, starch. I often do that. So here is the um, light starch and I'm just gonna um, kind of press it and um, it does still so if you don't like um, alcohol this was vodka that I used in it. Um, if you don't like alcohol um, you may not you may not prefer this recipe because you are going to um, smell that scent. Uh, I have thought about adding my essential oils to the mixture and just see um, how I feel about that in it um, to take away the smell. The alcohol smell doesn't really bother me that much, but um, I just was kind of wanting to experiment and see if you could get a fun scent on it. And I completely honestly forgot until just now when I was smelling it. Um, so here is one that I have not starched yet. And here's the one that did. They're very similar in feel, um, but you can kind of feel the stiffness a little bit more in it. And I don't think it's really gonna show through that well in a video like I hoped, but um, this one is a little more flimsy when moved than the other. It kind of moves more together than having that um, flow where it just all flops everywhere. Um, hopefully you can see that. If not, I, I'm sorry, but hopefully my description <laughs> helped enough there. So let's use the heavier starch. Now, um, if I had left it sitting for a few days without using it, I do see some separation sometimes. It's harder to tell now that I moved it into this um, glass bottle because it's amber colored. Uh, the other bottle I had it in, you can kind of see it a little bit better, um, but you can just shake it up and it's usually fine. So I'm gonna miss this good. And then let's iron it. So the heavier starch, I don't think has a scent at all. Um, if it does, it's very faint. It's not very noticeable, but I haven't really noticed anything heavy. Um, this one does have a little more of a, I don't want to say sticky, um, but you can definitely feel um, something in it. Like your fingers don't stick together, but you feel something on there. Um, I guess I got to work on my descriptions maybe, but so here is this one. So 
You see, it doesn't have that flimsy, as flimsy as a feel as it does did before, but you can definitely feel the texture on it a lot more. And it's not as, um, it's not as flimsy as this one. And so with creasing, like if you have a seam, this one kind of pops over a little bit more, but I feel like this one kind of holds its crease kind of works better if I'm not on a um, a surface that <laughs> is as soft. But see how if I keep pushing this one, it still kind of pops up. You can see where the crease is, but it's not as held as nicely as that one. It, this one kind of stays a little more folded. Um, but I don't know. And you can keep with either of them. You could spray some more on and get it to a more heavy um heavy starch too you don't have to just spray it once if it's not as as stiff as you would like it to be depending on your project and how much finger pressing you need to do um you can keep kind of layering it on it's the same with the the flatter spray if you've ever read that it says you know to um i don't let me read what it actually says because i don't want to miss say and then somebody's gonna be like that's not actually what it says <laughs> <laughs> so spray entire garment evenly repeat as needed for desired stiffness so um definitely the more you put i didn't get all the moisture out so it's not really gonna show you as well how it sets up but kind of the more you add the stiffer it's gonna be so it doesn't really lay as much and then you can really get a good crease for finger pressing. So hopefully this is helpful to you. Um, you know, why would you want to make your own starch? Uh, for me, it's because I'm pretty thrifty and I, <laughs> I like the idea of just being able to use kind of what I already have on hand um, and make, make my starches. I did not actually know it was a thing. I was hanging out on Pinterest one day and saw them and I was like, I never thought to try to do that. And you know, the glass bottles are better for the environment. So I can keep um, adding more into these rather than having to purchase something over and over again. So I really like the idea of it. Like I said, I've really noticed a difference on my iron as well, not getting as gunked up from all the different sprays that I use. So I really like that as well. Um, I've actually, let me see where I put it. So I've actually tried making a homemade spray based as well. Um, and I need to tinker with this one a little bit more to find the right um, consistency to do a really nice spray base. But I think it's actually going to work really well. I just got to fine tune a few things. And um, the other spray bottle that I bought that I had the heavy starch in was the exact same one as this one. And that's been giving me issues too. It doesn't want to spray properly. So I think that's might be one of the main issues that it's not working, but um, I want to make sure and if I get this one working well, I'll do a video on that as well. Um, so we'll see, but hopefully this helped out. I will put the um, links to the recipes because if you want to try something different, that was um, in there are things that I looked at. Um, because like I said, some of these had different um, ingredients, different methods. So if you wanna try something else, that might work for you too. Um, but yeah, check them out and hopefully this was helpful. Uh, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. If you are, thank you so much for supporting me. I truly, truly appreciate it. And until next time, you guys, bye.